So one of the major problems or issues with the Insta360 range of cameras and pretty much, I guess, all 360 cameras is how vulnerable the lenses are. It's very easy to get them scratched. If you drop the camera and a lens is hit on the ground, it's gonna break your camera. You're not gonna be able to use it because if the camera lenses are scratched or damaged, it shows up really obviously in your videos. Now, with the Insta360 X4, uh, to be fair to Insta360, they did attempt to make Make some uh, changes so that that was less of an issue. Primarily, they included these. If you can see them here, lens protectors um, included with the camera in the box when you buy the. Uh, but when you buy the camera with their previous cameras, these were a optional accessory. So I do think it was a great idea and very welcome that Insta360 included these with the camera as soon as you buy it. Now the problem arises, and this has been an issue in the past, is whether. Uh, attaching a lens protector to your Insta360 camera will affect the quality of the video because, you know, essentially it's another barrier. There's more chances of fingerprints, of smudges, and also it's just another layer with which the camera is going to have to record through. So in this video, I'm going to be testing that out. We're going to be seeing if the video quality is affected by using the lens protectors, and if so, by how much. And I'm also going to be testing out these. This is the premium version of the lens protectors which are made of glass not plastic and are supposed to be high quality offer more protection and lower the chances of any interference in your video you can see here the glass lens protectors are larger obviously made of a higher quality material and according to insta360 lowers the chances of your video being reduced in quality now i'm just going to talk over the videos as they're playing as you can see they're labeled pretty clearly what kind of video it is now i did not have three cameras to test at exactly the same time but I've tested just one after the other in the same environment roughly the same shot in the same location and to be honest and what I found personally is that there isn't a huge difference between the plastic and the glass lens protectors and overall if you keep your lens protectors clean really vigorously cleaning them before and after you attach them to the camera then the video quality is not reduced by much. The only time where I really notice a difference is when the sun is shining directly into the lens or the camera is pointing directly into the sunlight. There is a lot more lens flare and you may and it, and it may just be a little bit obvious that there is a lens protector on the camera at that moment. I tried to be pretty thorough with the videos I shot, lots of movement, lots of reframing. I tested to see whether there's any obvious issues with the stitching line between the three different options. And as long as you go into the camera settings and select the option for the type of lens protector you're using, then it should be fine. There is hardly any difference in the stitching line as long as you do that and as long as you've attached the lens protectors properly. Now that's another thing, the Insta360 redesigned the lens protector, how you attach them. Before they were stick on, which was really annoying, it was really difficult to uh, first put them on and remove them and it just meant you were much more likely to get a lot of fingerprints or other, uh, I guess, dirt or something inside the lens which would obviously be impossible to clean once it's attached. But now the camera has a twist design. So all you do is just place the lens protector over the lens of the camera and you just literally need to twist it around. You'll find when it kind of starts popping in and then you twist it the other direction with a little bit of force and it will just pop in. And to take them off, you just apply some pressure, twist in the opposite direction and they'll twist right off. If you didn't necessarily want to be using them the whole time, you could just use them when you think you're in more danger of dropping or damaging the camera. Now the camera itself comes with a lens cloth and the premium lens guards come with their own lens cloth as well. And what I recommend you do literally every time, like I mentioned before and after you attach the lens protectors is to give them a clean inside and out. So say I wanted to attach right now this lens protector, find the cloth, the microfiber cloth ideally, and you really want to clean it thoroughly and ideally once you've done that for 10 or 20 seconds try and not touch the inside of the lens again so hold it like this to the side don't put your finger inside 
the concave lens because then there's going to be a fingerprint and you're not going to be able to get rid of it. And when you're attaching the lens protector, once again, holding it on the plastic, you can then touch the outside because we can clean this. So just making sure you're applying that pressure only to the outside. And there we go. It's popped in like that. Now, after you've done that, once again, get your cloth and clean the outside because the chances are you will have a fingerprint on there and that is more than enough to really reduce the quality of your videos, especially if you're doing a lot of movement. Now, focusing on the premium lens protectors, the lens guards for a little bit, I honestly can't see much of a difference in quality between the premium lens guards and the plastic ones you get in the box. Now that's just in terms of impacting the video quality, but there is still a reason why you may want to get the glass ones rather than the plastic ones because the glass ones will offer more protection. They are larger, the distance between the glass uh, protector and the actual lens of the camera is a little bit bigger. What that means is that if you were to catastrophically drop your camera from a height or if you're going very fast on a bike and uh, I don't know, it fell off for some reason, you've got more of a chance of the glass lens protectors fully protecting your camera than the plastic ones. So if you really, really were worried about that, then it's still worth considering the premium lens guards because it's just going to offer a higher chance of your lenses being protected. But okay guys, that's it uh, for this quick video. Hope you found that useful if you were wondering whether these lens protectors were worth it or how they impact the quality. Obviously I've not tested it in every situation but there were some examples there. You can decide for yourself if it made enough of a difference for you. But that's it guys, uh, more Insta360 X4 tutorials coming up. Uh, subscribe if you wanna see some of those and I'll see you next time. Bye.